going on everyone figured I'd make a video uh, I heard this news I think it was either yesterday or today uh, I did a couple videos on J station um, just with all that drama that he had been stirring up uh, if you haven't checked those out I think I made two of them so you can go ahead and check those out if you want um, unless you've been keeping up in general what's going on so YouTube grounded J station for two weeks which is fucking hilarious um, he posted some video talking about how he's taking a break but uh, the grounding that he got was uh, two weeks of no monetization so loss of pay for two weeks but I mean the dude's made so much fucking money I mean if you watch any of his videos he's the clothes he wears is pricey as hell you know so two weeks ain't it ain't gonna bother him he's just gonna sit on his ass and take a two week vacation uh and sadly you know all that money he got is from fake ghost hunting I think it's hilarious though you know hit him in their pocketbooks and of course here's another thing too that cracks me up like if he actually cared about his fans and and stuff like that he he would still make videos you know for two weeks like I don't get paid for this channel you don't see me stopping making videos I've been on this platform for three years now uh I have like a hundred something videos I've made, you know. I haven't made a dime, but because it's not for the money, you know. It's just something, honestly, for me, it's kind of like therapy in a way. Uh, it's for me, like a way for me to. I have a lot of energy and stuff when it comes to like conspiracies and rabbit holes and stuff like that. And I've always wanted to just talk and get it out and this is my outlet for that you know my dream is one day to have a podcast I mean I've only put out like two podcasts or two or three like two to three to four kind of podcast ish feeling videos on this channel and I'd like to move more in that direction um my dream is to hopefully, by the time I'm an old man at least, that I can hopefully get enough subscribers on this channel to get it monetized so I can get the equipment and literally have like a room in my house, like a podcast room. And this, it would be hopefully at least a side job, you know. I'll, I'm sure I'll have to keep a full-time job, but I would like f for this to eventually become my side job you know and that's that's why I need the subs you know I, I almost got a hundred subs and it takes a thousand to get monetization um so but yeah the, anyways I went on that little side note but yeah if he really cared about his fans and what he does he'd still be putting videos out because I think he could still put the videos out for the two weeks that he's grounded but he's not getting paid it's not monetized so he don't give a fuck he's he's not gonna put anything out for two weeks because all he cares about is the money unless I'm wrong unless they grounded him completely from the platform for two weeks but he just put a video out after that stating that he's he's like oh I gotta get back in touch with myself and all this bullshit He'll be back in two weeks, and another thing the that YouTube did was um, the videos that were found offensive, he had to remove. So, yeah, he's at least he's not getting paid for that shit, because some, some of that was just disrespectful as hell. Like, somebody famous would die, and then he wouldn't even wait till they're in the fucking ground yet, on six feet under... And he'd put a video out of, I came in contact with their spirit, with their ghost, with a Ouija board. Like, 
I don't know. Me and my wife do ghost hunting, but we never, you know, we don't get our spirit box out and a Ouija board trying to contact famous dead people, you know. And it's like, I don't, for one, I don't believe that these famous dead people are talking to you at 3 a.m., dude. They don't even fucking know you, you know. And two, it's just like, it's just disrespectful. I think the closest thing that I ever did was, um, I made a video on Robin Williams. It was, uh, and it wasn't even me. Like, it was literally, I read an article about, um, Robin Williams, he said he used to get visited by Jim Belushi's ghost. It was literally a ghost story from the mouth of Robin Williams. I actually made a video on that, and you could watch it if you want. And it wasn't e it wasn't anything disrespectful, I think. In my opinion, it wasn't. But that was, like, the closest thing was retelling someone else's ghost story, you know. But, I don't know. J Station's a piece of shit. Fuck him. I'm out.